Before we do the test, let me start by giving a quick overview. Analog modems were popular data communication devices in the late 1990s through 2000. Advances in modem technology took data transmission rates from 300 baud all the way to 53.3 kilobits per second, with the latter requiring a digital network transmission from the ISP. Phone lines need very good signal-to-noise ratios to achieve good transmission rates, where a frequency range of 300 to 4,000 hertz, which is typical for a narrowband phone line, the theoretical Shannon limit is 35 kilobits per second. An analog modem connect rate has traditionally been a very good measure of phone line quality and suitability for data transmission. Here we want to run a test to see how closely the NetTalk Duo resembles a traditional phone line. Given that the Duo transmits data over an IP-based high-speed internet connection, network latency, sampling of analog data, audio codecs, and timing of data transmissions all play a part in the success or failure of such a test. So what we have here is a NetTalk Duo connected to an AT&T U-verse line connected with the RJ11 connected to a US Robotics 56K V.92 external modem. Serial cable is plugged in to a laptop and we're ready to do the test. Here we go. We've connected at 28.8 with ARQ, V34, LAPM, and V42 bits. Here are the test results. Given the many variables in transmitting data over an IP-based network, not all attempts will be successful. In this test, the NetTalk Duo passes with a 28.8 kilobits per second speed, which shows that it does do a very good job at duplicating the functionality of a traditional phone line in terms of timing and audio playback quality. For more great videos and articles, visit us on the web, www.shoppersnet.com. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel for more great videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.